Um, it's one song I do want to learn though. It's gonna be a little bit of Everlast, what it's like. twist on that um, some of that's off of Everlast video he does it electrically and he does it acoustically so he does it a couple different ways but the chord structure is really easy um, you got your pinky on your uh, first string your uh, index finger on your uh, or your ring finger on your um, second string that uh, G and then up here and then so you just do your chord structure just and then you just basically roll that up like that and then it's an F chord, then a C chord, then you go back in on that little pattern down there, F chord, C chord, 
strum, the strum pattern is, uh, oh, excuse me, D chord, D chord, F chord, C chord. Sorry about that. And the strum pattern is really easy. It's just down, 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 and then you just kind of loop your hand up and down like that. So it's down, 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 and then up and down. So. First, first fret, sixth string, and then you do a couple of pull-offs, and then you just come up onto the second string there, sorry with the glare there, on the second string, and then you just hit that open E. So it's, oops, and that's how you get that ringtone. Now for the melody in between, it's just... So it's, then you slide down, it's just a D chord, and it's just that simple, and that's the first one. Now the second one, he does it twice, so after you go through, that's your first interlude, and then you go back through your, your chorus, and it's, it's for the first time, six the second time, six the third time, and then you go into those interludes every time. And you can mix your interludes up a little bit. So the second interlude, when he does that, and he's sliding down. He, and you can mix it up. You can do it doubles or however you want to do it. And then you just take another step down. If I can get this without the glare in the sun there. So it's. Then you go down to the 12th fret. And then just back up to your D chord. Okay. And that's, that's about all of it. Um, there's a lot of sussing that you can do in there if you want to really kind of mix it up so it doesn't sound the same every time. So you can just, you can suss your middle finger on your D. So, and you suss when you go on your upswings. And the same way, middle finger on your F. Same middle finger on your D or C. So that's how that goes. Um, you can also take, and I've seen it done, you can slide into your C. So you got to kind of pound on that C pretty hard. So you can slide into that, give it just a little mix up. Um, that's about all I know on that song. So just remember it's, it's kind of a three fingered pattern up there. You're on the first fret, the uh, fifth and sixth chords on your uh, third fret. Then it's just. it is. You do that four times and then you come into your D. F C And all that's done on your, your sixth string, your last E. And that's pretty much every last what it's like. It's a fun song to play. Um, have fun with it.